everybody, welcome back to Recordology. Here we are once again at the old workbench with a lovely oil stain, picturesquely, is that a word? Framed right in the center of the shot there. Thank you so very much for clicking on this video and joining us today. Now I love my tape players, I love my record players, I love CD players, I love a lot of different formats. By the way, if you didn't check it out yet, check out our last video on the awesome RCA tape cartridge system video. It's our second video on that format. We reviewed a stereo unit some months ago and then just the other day, the mono unit. Very cool, very, very cool. But for all of those formats and as wonderful as they are, I love the radio. Why do I still like the radio? It's because it's spontaneous. You don't know what's gonna happen next. There's some element of surprise versus you know pulling up a tape or a record or a CD or an MP3. You know what's we know what to expect for most in most cases. However, when it comes to radios, you don't know what to expect. So I think that that's a very cool thing. I think it's fun. So today we're looking at two radios. These are both from Redicus, and Redicus has done some amazing stuff. It was sort of an unlikely pairing uh, that we you know were able to work with them on reviewing a lot of their products over the years and. I have been so impressed, and a lot of you guys have told me the same thing. You've been very, very impressed. So I thought we'd look at two more radios that we haven't looked at yet. We've got more coming. There's some uh, really cool things that we're saving for uh, uh, an event coming up here in a few weeks. But these ones I thought we would dig into today. So uh, should we start small or start big? I think we start small. Let's start small. So let me go ahead and go back to our normal shot there. And yeah, let's check it out. This is the Reticus FM receiver, so it's FM only. This is the TR624. And as you can see, it's a small, unassuming box. So let's see what's inside here. Both of these, I believe, require uh, battery power, so they're not going to have, you know, internal rechargeable. This is interesting. Now, this is sort of a preview of what to expect from this radio. This one I had my eye on for a period of time because it's there's something about it I really, really, really like. You'll notice that these are clear. This is when I'm glad I had my nails trimmed. Interesting. Even the wire's clear. You can see the copper elements in there. Pretty interesting stuff. Now let's take a look at the radio. I don't know why I just tossed it like that. I was overly aggressive. Uh... That's right, friends. This is a clear radio. Now, before you say prison tech, because prison tech is clear, there was a faction of us kids of the 80s and 90s that had clear tech, and we didn't have any idea that had anything to do with prison because there was this cool fad to have clear phones, clear you know tape players, and that's what I'm hearkening back to because I do not have a prison story, thankfully. <laughs> I like to keep it that way. I think of clear tech and I think of, you know, that fun phase in junior high when that was a cool thing to have. To see how it works, you know, rather than have black plastic that covers up everything or white plastic or whatever. But is that a hair in there? <laughs> is that like glue remnants? I'm not sure. But to be able to see how it works, oftentimes like this, it's you know more simplistic than you would imagine. But to see all the parts working, I think it's very, very cool. We can see the switch, like what the actual switch on the board looks like. I, that's a very stiff switch. I think that that's interesting stuff. The volume knob, battery compartment, and the circuit board on the back there. Looks like you can release this clip pull. Not sure I know how to what it's saying to do. Typically, you push down to. Did I push down? I'm not smart enough to do this. Okay, that's above my pay grade. There we've got the uh, antenna there, some copper wire wrapped, some ICs. Can't see any branding on there, but really, really cool. All right, let's go ahead and power it up. This does not have a um, does not have a speaker, so we're going to connect it. Two triple A's, which I do happen to have on standby. I'm trying to be better in the prepared department. Some of you have teased me before that you're reviewing records. Why didn't you have a record handy? Now you can see the batteries in there. Pretty cool stuff. So we need a speaker, and for that I have probably the most entertaining to turn on Bluetooth speaker you'll ever find. My James Bond speaker. And we need a wire 
with which to connect it. So for that, we are using this Phillips braided cable. Box in. Let's go ahead and turn the volume up all the way. And we'll set that back there. And we'll plug this into the headphone jack right on top. Turn our volume down so we don't blow ourselves away. Oh, it is FM AM. That's cool. So it does both. Let's start with AM and turn it on. And give it a listen. Look at that plastic there, how it goes across the wheel and attaches to that dial there. That's cool. Well, I can't pick up anything in here. Feel it? There we go, something. Yes. You're in such a big boat? No, yes you do. Yes you do. Yes you do. I, I mean, I don't know. I've never been on a cruise. I mean, you, 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 you didn't just... Strange, okay. It's a digital the tuner. Tell by that clipping. Now there is no fine tune control, so you've got to go very slowly through the range there. Reception is a fantastic on FM anyway. That's cool. I like it. This is a really cool radio. To me, this is fun. This is fun. This is a really cool thing. And I like, you know, that we have technology that in the same size, you could do so much. I mean, a smartphone is, you can get a smartphone this small that could access the internet, access streaming stuff. You know, it's not a technical marvel by any means, but it's fun and it's tactile and you don't know what song's going to play next and you don't know exactly what you're going to find there on the airwaves to me to me that's a benefit that's a good thing i think this is really really neat I, I still love seeing how it works by the way if you uh plug when you plug in your headphones that's the fm antenna and then this uh rod here with the wire wrap is is the am antenna digital tuner which is you know expected but still cool so if you like either of these radios either that one or the one we're about to look at i'm going to put links down in the description below and assuming you know there's no issue that we come across i never recommend a bad product so if we were to have an issue then we would do that so yeah you get the clear headphones to go along with that i think that's really cool now let's see what this one is we do variety on this show we keep we keep it uh we keep it interesting okay so we've got a usb charger cord or connection cord okay it's red interesting this is an emergency radio you can tell their uh, range of products is very very cool it's got a solar panel on it oh that is really cool and then under here oh it just lifts up cool is that like a light i wonder oh that's neat so it's got the soft touch coating which <laughs> instant cool it's got a crank too it instantly makes me think of the soft touch coating on another device i didn't do this on the show but i had to i had a one of those retro phones that looks like an old handset and it had soft touch coating but it was about 15 years old and the coating breaks down over time so you have to take some isopropyl alcohol and uh to get it off i can tell right now there's a there's a film on here so we'll get that off so yeah someday this will deteriorate and most likely you need to be uh wiped down but until that happens it's a nice soft touch feel so it does have a compartment for three triple A's. It also has a lithium ion built in. I remember I went through this phase. It's got the hand crank there and the solar panel, which is super cool. I went through this phase maybe 20 years ago where hand crank radios were coming out and I was like, this is the coolest thing ever. I don't know what it was, but 
Some, somehow I really like the idea. So you uh, crank the heck out of it here. Cool, it's got a flashlight too. I don't know if there's any charge built in, but you have to crank the heck out of that for quite a while uh, to get anything to happen. So let's go ahead and see if we can power this up. We got FM, AM, WB, and W BAL. White balance? What the heck? You can either go off uh, AAAs or lithium ion. So it's probably charging nothing right then. Just 10. Headphones or uh, antenna. Careful there, copyright. <laughs> and yeah, that's cool. Is there now this panel lifts up? Oh, there is a headphone jack. Yep. So let's go ahead and test the sound on our external speaker. Digital tuner. Reception on this is not as good. Well, it would help if I put the antenna out. Anytime you have a speaker, you have to have an external antenna for FM. And then the AM will be built in. Lifetime helps homeowners see more. Oh, cool. There's a tuning light there. Okay, not that song. We're going to... Sound quality is much improved with the headphone jack to the external speaker, but the internal speaker is adequate. There's the USB connectivity, the headphone jack, and the uh, DC input as well, so you can power it off of that. This is interesting. This is really, really interesting. And then you've got this guy right here. Now I wonder, is that a light? It's almost like a little speaker too. I wonder if that's like, okay, I'm going to set off the SOS. Here we go, guys. So it flashes this and then makes the alarm sound. I wonder if the alarm is single volume. You can't turn it, you can't change that. Oh, that was AM. No, no, that was FM. It's just the little switch doesn't go over that far. Let's go to AM. Sounds like AM. Hmm. Pretty typical AM there. Now let's go to this. WB. Weather band. That's what that is. Let's get some weather. Let's go to this W BAL. What does that mean? And the W BAL feature says uh, indicator light will light green and alarm when it receives in a weather emergency signal. So you can use it to receive weather emergency signals. Uh, so that is a reading lamp and a flashlight. So there is a switch on the side, I believe, here. That turns on the flashlight. To use the reading lamp, this is actually a butt. I thought that was a little speaker. It's got six little LEDs there. Interesting. Well, this thing does a lot of different stuff. It truly is an emergency radio. It's got a little handle there. And you can charge your phone with it. You can listen to different sources. You've got a flashlight, an alarm. You can crank it. You can charge it. You can do triple A's. Yeah, it's a very good, you know, emergency radio. Probably pretty smart to keep in your car or to have around the house if the power goes out. I think it's a pretty interesting little device. So two very different radios, but both very cool and something that you may want to add to your collection. So I'll put the links in the description below. And I want to thank you so much for watching this show and for tuning in twice a week where we uh, post new shows. And there's always, you never know what it's going to be. It could be radios, could be, you know, exclusive record players, which I might be looking at off camera. 
uh, which are not available to the public at this time, but will be, and you will be the first to see it. You never know what you're going to find here on Recordology, guys. But seriously, thank you so much for watching. God bless each and every one of you. Have a wonderful day, and we will see you next time.